Let me paint this picture for you. Three years ago, I had just graduated from college and all I had to my name was a marketing degree, student loans, and the dream of doing something big with my life. When I started making videos in my room back in 2020, there was only one simple goal. Talk about the aspects of fashion you care about and make people's day better in the process. 500 videos later, through so many crippling mental ups and downs, trial and errors, frustrations and fatigues, my efforts have landed me here in New York City. Some of you may be wondering, Drew, why move all the way across the country to live in New York City? It's a great question. I'm gonna do my best to answer it. So I actually have a three-part answer to that question. Damn, all that walking and talking built up a brother's thirst level. Alrighty, let's start with part one. Over the last three years, I've visited New York seven times, all in the name of content creation and work. And each time I visited this city, I always felt as though there was something I was leaving unfinished. From relationship building with other creators to being able to highlight more interesting brands here in the city, this place has always been tugging at me teasing me to visit for longer and longer. It's sort of a indescribable feeling. The moment you wanna make a commitment to a particular city, it isn't an easy choice, especially if that city is New York City. The second and one of the biggest pulls for New York City to me was car-free mobility. Where I'm from in Denver, you essentially have to have a car to move around the cityscape efficiently. And I use the word efficiently very, very loosely. I used to tell people all the time that I don't like driving, but what I actually found out was I don't like driving in a city where people are constantly texting and driving, there are incidents of insane road rage and in a place that has increasingly worse traffic year in and year out. But don't get it twisted, I'm not jaded. I know that New York City public transit isn't perfect. By all means, it's far from perfect. Just the other day, I was waiting for a bus to come that usually comes every seven minutes and I had to wait 25 minutes. In fact, I didn't wait 25 minutes. I had waited 25 minutes and the bus never came and I had to take an Uber to where I was going. And that is neither effective or reliable. But nonetheless, in America, New York City is the standard for sprawling, effective, walkable cityscapes. You just can't beat it in the US. The final answer to the question, why move to New York City is, well, why not? I'm currently 25 years of age, and in a week from now, I'll be turning 26. Shout out to all the Libras. Life moves both faster and slower in different moments than you expect it to. And I feel like if I don't chase the dreams and goals that I harbor in my heart right now, maybe there will come a point where I won't be able to, and I don't want to live with that regret. The fear of regret has always motivated me to be the best I can, to do the best I can. And my love for creating helped me keep creating even when the outcome seemed bleak and I wasn't making the progress that I thought I should be making. It's really as simple as that. Now you know a little bit of why I decided to move to New York City. But I'm getting pretty hungry right now. Let's grab a bagel real quick and come back. Lauren, you wanna get a bagel? You want a bagel? I wanna get a bagel.
Right now, my apartment has essentially nothing in it. No chairs, no tables, no air conditioning, no nothing. And the no air conditioning part has been kind of insane over the last few days here because there was a heat advisory within our first, what, three or four nights sleeping here. And with no AC, boy, it was hot. <laughs> I kind of in a weird way love it though. It's almost like New York is testing whether or not if we really want to be in this apartment. Also testing if we really want to make a life for ourselves here over the next 12 to 16 to 18 to 36 months. Here's what to expect from my channel, whether you're new or old here. This is what the type of videos that I want to create while I'm here in New York City. In the past, I focused heavily on reviews, idea-based content, and video essays. And rest assured, none of that is really going away, especially during the New York City winter. But what I want to dip my toe more into while I'm here is more documentary-esque style of vlogs, exploring all of what the city's fashion scene has to offer as it is one of the meccas of fashion globally, and peeling back the layers of myself more and more as an individual growing up and experiencing life here in New York City. I recognize that I haven't really upheld my one to two video a week upload schedule. And it's simply because moving is so damn busy and stressful. On top of all the extra work that I have to do already, it's just been a lot. But trust me, I've been thinking about you guys the entire time through this entire process. This is definitely me putting my stamp on the fact that I have officially moved to New York City. And before I conclude this video, there's one last thing I have to say that I want you guys to know. I am so incredibly grateful for all the wonderful people who have supported this journey along the way. Over the last three years, I could have never, and I truly mean this, could have never imagined that this would be the outcome of my efforts creating videos on YouTube and in social media and on social media. Without all of you who tune in, leave comments, like the videos, engage, share the videos, DM me, none of this would be possible and it wouldn't be as sweet or as worth it either. I quite literally cannot thank you enough. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. As always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2023. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you for me. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto. See you in the next video. Peace. So I just finished with my first ever photo shoot slash project here in New York City. I'm at a park now, just relaxing, waiting for some pizza to be made so we can eat it my camera's focusing but man it's crazy i can actually say that i live in new york city like look at it it's crazy actually crazy what a life we're still within our first week in new york city and i would say the best thing about the city has to be just the energy i've always said that like there's so much energy here it makes you feel like it makes you feel like you can just do a million things in one day. It's unbelievable. The worst thing right now, there's a little bit of a heat wave and I'm sweating profusely all the time. And I don't like that, so, but yeah. What would you say the best and the worst part about being in New York City so far has been? Okay. Um, the heat has been pretty bad, which is your answer. I'm gonna go with the smells. That's always been... The smells are the worst? That's always been the worst part of New York for yeah. me. Like, on every street, I'm gonna be like, Bleh. <laughs> Almost every street. Anyway, I would say the smells, like yeah. the trash. Um, and then what was the best? Walking everywhere. We haven't... That's heard. a good point. We haven't, we haven't, haven't had to use... Yeah. Five days. We haven't had to deal with road rage of any oh kind. Just been taking public transit and buses and walking and it's been beautiful. <laughs> Drew. Okay. They have the restaurant that's in it. And uh, a family friend of mine grew up in there and that food there. We would like to you know, say it's killer. Order food out. Your boy is in New York City. <laughs> what is good post vid vid man? Here's the fist bump of all fist bumps. 
The first one in New York. This is this is a special one. The first post vid vid fist bump. Bop. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. Bop. Thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you could ever know. I know I've asked this a couple times on social media, on YouTube community posts, on Instagram, whatever. But what would you guys like to see from me in terms of content in New York City? The post vid vid always has a great pulse on who I am more in depthly than the regular viewers. And so I'm curious to know from the PVV, what would you guys like me to see? Or what would you like to see from me here in New York City? All these rhymes. Comment hashtag PVV, answer that question for me, and I'd be very, very appreciative. Kind of see myself doing more lifestyle content as well, along with fashion, because I don't know, in New York City, like I feel like people find living here very interesting and even I found those videos interesting online, but let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Hopefully I can get it out sooner rather than later and uh, just stay with me here. I'm working very hard to make sure the content gets revved back up. Thank you guys so, so much for the support through the last three years. Hashtag PVV. We out.